right, Shalom and uh, Barakate Yahweh. Barakate Yahweh Shai. You know, this is like a continuation from the lesson that we've been doing on the uh, Latin tribes being uh, uh, Israelites also, you know. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, going to, you know, we don't have anything pre planned. So, whatever information brothers have and scriptures, we're going to go into it and bring it out. You know, just to give you more proof because we're in that time now. That's why all this information is pertinent to come out. You know, just to gather the Latin tribes. Now, in the future, Lord's will, uh, Elder Manadizak, we were just uh, speaking, and um, you know, he said we could do a, like a show, a lesson on on Judah, Benjamin, and Levi being scattered. You know, among the nations. You know, and uh, things of that nature. So, you know, just to uh, uh, balance it out. You know, uh, because you know. This is not just a, a thing about the Latin tribes and the Native American Indian tribes, but we know we took on this uh, this task, so to speak, to, to do these lessons just for the sake of the uh, so-called uh, Indian tribes, you know, that are here, you know, in, in the Americas. You know, so in the future, Lord's will, we'll do other lessons, you know, dealing with Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and other tribes, so, so it won't seem like it's a tribal thing, you know, which it wasn't a tribal thing from the beginning, you know. Uh, matter of fact, somebody get, um, so I'm going to get 1 Corinthians real quick before we get started. 1 Corinthians, if you got something, you can bring it out. Okay, come. Uh, this is uh, Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 11, <coughs> verse, verse uh, 14. It says, Then I cut asunder my other staff, right. even bends, that I might break the brotherhood between <coughs> Judah and Israel. Right, so the Lord broke the brotherhood between Judah and Israel, you know, which is the kingdom of Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And then Ephraim and the rest of the other tribes make up the northern kingdom. You know, so the Lord broke that brotherhood. But now the Lord is bringing that brotherhood back. Matter of fact, somebody get Amos 9 and, uh, right. 9, 9 and uh, uh, 11. So go ahead. Right. It's, oh. go ahead. You had a point? Go ahead. Right. It says, it says then, it's like, it says, then I cut asunder my other staff, even bends that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. That's right. So that's what the Lord did. He, he broke the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. But now, uh, coming down to the end of it, now the Lord is closing up those breaches. You got more on that? Uh, now, I'll raise uh, one more time, one more verse. On okay. For lo, I will raise up a shepherd in the land which shall not visit those that be cut off, neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that that is broken, nor feed that that standeth still. But he shall eat the flesh of the fat and tear their claws in pieces. Right, because you got guys out there that are not that are not uh, teaching the tribes and bringing them back together. Basically, what they're doing is they're separating them, causing division. Causing division. Matter of fact, get that real quick in First Corinthians, one and ten. Whoever got it? If not, I got it. I got it right here. You got it. First Corinthians one. Yeah, First Corinthians one and ten. Because you got guys out there that are supposed to be shepherds and they're nothing but hirelings and wolves. Because they're not, they're not uh, uh, gathering the tribes, and if, if anything, they're they're dispersing, you know, and uh, uh, saying that look, these people are not Israelites, you know, the Israelites are all black, you know, or they're not teaching who they are, you know, because of the fact that they they're hirelings, yeah. you know, they're not they're not men of the Lord, they're not the real shepherds of the sheep. So go ahead, somebody. Go first, ahead. first Corinthians one and ten. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai. That ye all speak the same thing. Right, we all supposed to speak the same thing, guy. And that there be no divisions among you. Right, and that there be no divisions among you. You know? So when you're teaching a different doctrine than what we're teaching, then that's a division. Right. You know, when you when you being tribal, you know, when you being tribal, that's a division. <clears throat> like them uh flunkies for Nate. You know, they had that Passover thing and all you kept hearing was Judah, you know? That's like a, a, a tribal thing. They're yep. causing separation, you know, between between Judah and the other tribes. Right. The Lord said that's not supposed to be done. And then, and if I may yeah, add okay. too, and then like you got these other asshole idiots, which really, man, you guys are uh, basically wells without water, like the scriptures say. Gotcha. But you you coming up with these old stupid ass doctrines of the other tribes, uh, the, the Native American Indian and Latin tribes mm -hmm. not being a part of the nation of Israel. Right. You help keeping in that keeping that division that's right and yet you're ready to open your hands for some goddamn heathens yep. some hamites uh watusi and band to all these other different hermetic tribes yep just because they got dark skin that's it that's the only reason that's why the you only do it. reason why yep you're just like the so-called so white man yep. you know which he classifies all 
people of color is blacks. Yep. All right, instead of going into the national, you don't really deal with nation nationality, nor do you deal with the truth because why? It's not in you. Yep. You're not the men. That's why you're not on the highways and the byways. Yep. Uh, uh, you barely have videos out there. You know, only time, only thing your doctrine is is anything is an anti-GMS doctrine. Yeah, yeah. Which really, you're not anti-GMS. You're anti the Most High. You're how about Shim? You're how Shai. Right, so right. keep on making them little dumb, stupid ass videos, and you're gonna keep seeing more and more information just steamrolling you clowns. That's right, that's suckers. Because right. that's all that's happening. You know, you're being you're, you're being, being you're being destroyed. The Lord is using with the, with the, starting with uh, which which the elder Ari was the, one of the first brothers who got the fullness. But it started back going back to uh, Abba Bivens. That's right. All right, and then King Masha. Yep, because yep, that's yep. like mm -hmm. El, Elder Ariat. Yep. Uh, Elder Yaikwa. Yep. And then the brothers that, y'all don't like to hear it say it, but the brothers that kept carrying that torch was Elder Tahar and the rest of the men on down that, that, that's with him. That's right. And you got other men that's out there that's, that's doing it too. All right, which you know them because why? They're teaching the same thing, like what the brother read in 1 Corinthians, uh, the first that's chapter. That's right. All right, and that's what it's all about. They, they got us. We got to be speaking the same thing, the same right. doctrine. No, you guys out here talking this bullshit, man. Yep. All right. I'm yeah, because no, it's, it's, it's the spirit, brother. Um, because when Abba was teaching, that's what he was teaching. Yep. He was teaching that the so-called Negroes, they were the Jews. You know, you the Puerto Ricans. You know, the Cubans and all them. They're Israelites. That's right. You know, but he just didn't know what tribe each one of them was from. Because that wasn't given to him. Exactly. But then the Lord gave that that he gave that spirit to Elder. Aria to write down which which uh, tribe pertained to who, yep. who they were, and and go into the characteristics in the scriptures and break it down. You know that's what we have what we have today the twelve tribe sign. You know, and any of you teaching any different than that, then the Lord is going to deal with you, man. Right. You know because what you're doing is is you you holding you you keeping the kingdom uh, uh, from coming to those that are to be saved because you won't go into it yourself and you stop those that are coming in. So right. when you say that the so-called Latin tribes and the Native American Indian tribes are not Israelites, you're basically stopping the people of the Lord from coming in to uh, to uh, back to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, that's yep. what you're doing. So finish reading that real quick. Yeah, cut. It says, um, and that there be no divisions among you, that's right. but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Right, that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. All right? So now, you got, got something? I got one more. After Bring you. that out and then uh, we get Amos, yeah. data, and then we're going to go into the book. Okay, brother. All right, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 12. It says, Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Right, so the Lord is saying, Turn to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope, which is who? All of the Israelites. That's right. You know? Because all when you, when you go to them, to them uh, uh, among the indigenous people of those different uh, uh, lands down in South America, Central America, the, the, the curses are on those people. That's oh, right. Yeah. The, same, the same exact curses. The same exact curses that's Heavy. on Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Mm -hmm. It's on them. Heavy. They, 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 they conduct experiments against the natives of those lands like they conducted experiments against Judah, Benjamin, and yep. Levi. Just like the Tuskegee thing. They were hitting you with syphilis. They were doing the same fucking thing in, in Guatemala. Guatemala. Yep. That's right. To Zebulon down there in Guatemala, they was injecting them with syphilis. That's right. There was right. a thing this brother brought out uh, months back about how they were in, the, I think in the 20s, you said they were hitting Ephraim up with cancer. Yeah, yeah 1930s. Yep. In the 30s. Yep. No, uh, it's a doctor, uh, I believe his name was Dr. Cecil, Cecil Rhodes. Rhodes. Yeah, Cecil yeah. Rhodes. Yeah. You know, he injected uh, uh, Ephraimites with, with cancer. He was saying that, they, that, they need, that the Puerto Ricans need to be wiped out. You know? That shows you how the white man feels about, yeah. about Israel. And they know exactly who Israel is. It tells you in the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter. You know, so the same things that, that, <coughs> that, that Judah, Benjamin, and Levi go through, these other tribes go through. Why? Because they are Israelites. Exactly. And, we, and, and the, the lessons that we've done so far, uh, the last, I think it was four series, nothing but information that the, who the Latin tribes are. And, and that, that, that document, the first document that we read, there's even more information. That was just like the first five pages. There's a whole bunch more information of different things and different customs that they kept. You know, they didn't eat swine. They, you know, they circumcised their children. You know, they had the Holy of Holies. I mean, all different types of information. Carried the Ark of the Covenant yep. during they, times of war. See? How, how the fuck they know about, how the fuck the North American Indians, Peruvian Indians, Mexican Indians, what the fuck they know about the Ark of the Covenant? Right. If they're not Israelites. That's right. That's right. What the hell yeah. do they know about the Ark of yeah. the Covenant and, and carrying it 
during war times, just like on this we, side. We, we, on, on this side, right? How? What did they know about that? Because the Spanish didn't uh, bring them and show them the Ark of the Covenant. That's right. right. The Spanish knew about the Ark of the Covenant because of the records. Right. But they actually had the Ark of the, uh, Ark of the Covenant yeah. that they made when they came over here. They knew exactly how to make it. You know why they knew how to make it? Because they had the Bible. They had the, the scrolls here with them. That's right. And them devils, them Spaniards, they burnt the records, as we told you in the other lessons. And you, you, you got that, right? I, I got a little something on it. All right, bring that out. And hold, hold, up, hold up on... Um, on Amos, we're gonna hit that before before we close out. But we wanna get this information out. Okay. That was it on that, brother. No, no. It's, bring, okay, bring it's, it it's, out. It's, it says, uh, "Turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today, do I declare that I will rip, render double unto thee. When I have bent Judah for me, mm -hmm. filled the bow with Ephraim." Right. So the Most High said he's gonna take Judah, right, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and fill the bow with Ephraim which is the so-called Puerto Ricans and the other so-called Latin tribes and Native American Indian tribes. Yep. And he's going to put, them, put it in the, in the bow and, and he's going to pull that arrow back. And what happened? Uh, Abba Bivens, which is Judah, he's, he, the Lord used him to, to spark it off. Uh, uh, King Masha, uh, Elder Ariya, Elder Yaikov, they're Judites and other men that were Judites. They, they pushed this thing forward. Then uh, after a certain period of time, uh, uh, you know, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi was being gathered in the school. Then the so-called, you know, Latin tribes, the Native American Indian tribes, started coming in their story but surely. So now in this time, the tribes are coming together, but there's going to come a point now where you're going to have Israelites that's out there in the world from Judah, Benjamin, Levi, even from Simeon and all that. And they're going to get together and they're going to set this race war off. And that's, that's how, how Esau, you so-called white people, and you other nations, you're going to get fucked up. When the Lord brings those, those that, that, that's why the white man doesn't want this information out there. Because he, he, knows, he knows what the scriptures say. That once you get the two kingdoms coming together, all hell's going to break loose. Everybody else is going to fall in line. That's right. That's right. All the, other, the Spanish tribes and the Indian tribes are going to fall in line under Ephraim because that was their head yep. after, uh, during the split. And then... Uh, Benjamin and Levi are gonna get their ass in line with Judah mm -hmm. because Judah's the head of them and Judah's the overall head. That's and right. then that means the common enemy to all 12 is the fucking white man. That's it. When you add it up, yep. that's your ass. Yep. Go ahead, brother. Right, it says, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against, against thy sons, O Greece. So how's the Lord gonna raise up the sons of Zion? against the, the, the Greeks, the sons of the Greeks or the Edomites, the so-called white people, when he brings them together. That's what the Most High said, when I have bent Judah for me, filled the bowl with Ephraim. Then that he said, I'm going to lift your sons up, O Zion, against, against the sons of Greece or the so-called white men, the Edomites. Yep. And that's when the race war is going to be set off. Yep. You know? I mean, because there's been skirmishes you know, throughout history, but this time, when, when all hell breaks loose, it's going to break loose. This whole country is going to uh, turn overnight. It's going to be a total different world overnight. Yep. Okay. It says, It made thee as the sword of a mighty man, and the Lord shall be seen over them, which we're coming to that time right now. So it's going to be made, like the Lord said in 2 Ezra, then shall my servants be made known. Who are, who are the chosen. Who are the, who are the chosen. So it's going to be known, because right now you got all these, you got a whole bunch of guys popping up. They're coming and going, coming and going, all these doctrines out there. But the Lord is going to put his stamp on his chosen, man. Because Esau, ain't, he's about to do what he's supposed to do. He's the devil. Yep. The scriptures say the devil's come down with great wrath. Yep. Knowing he have but a little bit of time. And his time is up. Why do you think all this information has come out? The Lord is allowing all these facts, all these artifacts, these information, certain books that brothers never got a chance to get their hands on. Now, brother, why? Because this is the time now. Yep. They're being made available now. They're being made. You got other guys out there that's getting information yep. because yep. why? And we don't we don't just say oh just just this brother is the only person that brother that got the knowledge. No. no, the Lord gave it to the prophets, man. They tell you right. that in Isaiah 34 and 16. Right. I mean, well, further down, it says they shall possess it uh, through their generations forever, line upon line. Right. He divided right. it unto them by line. Right. That's right. Meaning they lie. Each brother got their portion in this thing. So this thing is coming out rapid fire because why? We at the end. And you're going to see that the Lord is with 